stunning pictures this morning out of Yellowstone. Uh, many areas around Yellowstone Lake is my favorite part of the park. A hidden danger is lurking beneath Yellowstone, and it seems like no one's really noticing it. According to the scientists, catastrophic hydrothermal explosions have previously shaken the park and could do so again in the future. But is it something that is being focused on? The area, which has long represented the country's commitment to preserve its natural heritage, the Yellowstone National Park, covers more than 2.2 million acres in Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho and is known for its geothermal characteristics, diverse wildlife, and magnificent scenery. However, recent scientific results have generated a contentious debate. Should Yellowstone National Park be shut down? To find out, stay tuned with us till the end, as by the end of this video, you're going to find out why this should not be turned into a reality. Before we delve into further details, let's take a look at the area and why it is considered a dangerous thing if any construction takes place. Geography and history. It tells us that there is activity in this supervolcano which erupts roughly every 600 million years. Yellowstone National Park is a 2,219,789 acre, 898,317 hectare wilderness region managed by the National Park Service. It is located at the intersection of Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming, with Wyoming accounting for the majority of its land area. The park is well known for its diverse natural features, which include calderas, geysers, hot springs, and fauna. It was the country's first national park and is still the largest in the continental United States. Yellowstone became a national park in 1872. It was created by Congress for the benefit and enjoyment of the people. Since then, millions of people have visited the park to enjoy its hiking trails, scenic views, and glimpses of popular sites such as the Old Faithful Geyser and one of the largest hot springs in the United States, the Grand Prismatic Spring, known for its rainbow waters. Yellowstone's geology distinguishes it from other places on Earth. Magma beneath Earth's crust is near to the surface, making the area volcanically active. The park contains three calderas produced by volcanic eruptions, 2.1 million, 1.3 million, and 640,000 years ago, respectively. Many of the park's features are the consequence of heat from magma changing the Earth's surface. Yellowstone also has a wide range of animal and plant species. The park is home to over 1,000 different varieties of native flora. The park is home to over 150 bird species, as well as reptiles and fish, across several diverse ecosystems. The park is notable for its rich mammal population, which includes herds of bison and elk, as well as huge predators like wolves and grizzly bears. The Unseen Threat Yellowstone Supervolcano Yellowstone's supervolcano is key to this discussion. Yellowstone Caldera is a gigantic volcanic crater and one of the world's largest active volcanic systems. Scientists have been aware of this supervolcano for decades, but recent research has raised fears about its potential to cause catastrophic devastation. The Yellowstone supervolcano has had three major eruptions in the previous 2.1 million years, the most recent happening approximately 640,000 years ago. Each of these eruptions was thousands of times more powerful than the average volcanic explosion, with the capacity to change global climates and destroy entire continents. While the likelihood of an imminent eruption remains low, the possible repercussions are serious enough to demand careful consideration. But that's not the only thing here. Recent increases in seismic activity in the Yellowstone region have alarmed geologists and volcanologists. Swarms of tiny earthquakes which are often prelude to major volcanic occurrences, have become more common. While these swarms do not ensure an eruption, they do show that the magma chamber under Yellowstone is growing increasingly active. Scientists utilize a number of tools to detect seismic activity, including seismographs and ground deformation sensors, which record earth movement and landscape changes. It's a popular summer destination for families, but right now all entrances to Yellowstone National Park are closed. The frequency of earthquake swarms increased significantly in 2020, 
according to the United States Geological Survey, USGS. While most of these quakes are too small to be felt by humans, they do indicate that the magma beneath the surface is moving. This movement may increase pressure within the caldera, potentially resulting in an eruption. Apart from that, ground deformation is another significant indicator of volcanic activity. Scientists have noticed patches of rising ground in Yellowstone, which is caused by magma accumulating beneath the surface. This uplift can stretch and weaken the Earth's crust, making it more likely to fracture. Additionally, the discharge of volcanic gases is a major concern. Gases like carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide can leave the magma chamber and enter the environment. Elevated amounts of these gases frequently precede volcanic eruptions. Scientists at Yellowstone have identified higher gas emissions, indicating that the magma chamber is getting more active. Yellowstone Lake, an interesting phenomena. In September 1999, an eight-meter-long aluminum boat made sluggish, straight lines back and forth across Yellowstone Lake's northern region. Two instruments were positioned on the boat's stern. The lake bottom was surveyed with narrow sonar beams, and the echoes were recorded to capture the ups and downs. The other sent periodic seismic shock waves into the lake. Those waves pierced the lake floor before reflecting back, providing an image of the silt and stone strata beneath it. Some of the scientists coordinated the effort and began researching hydrothermal vents in the lake. They desperately needed a map of the lake floor to replace the time-consuming method of detecting vents, which involved taking a boat out onto the flat water early in the morning to examine where gas bubbles erupted from vents below. Several other scientists met each evening in a nearby facility to go over the new lake floor maps that the technicians were printing. It was like having cataracts taken off of your eyes, one scientist relates, like night and day. According to their research, several active faults pass through the lake. Over 250 hydrothermal vents are nestled amid V-shaped depressions formed when hot water dissolved or burst out of the lake floor. In addition to Elliot's crater, the crew discovered two more craters, at least half a kilometer in size, as well as countless smaller ones under 200 meters. Several spherical domes protruded from the lake floor. Seismic profiles revealed soft sediments wrapped over a firm crust. Each dome was most likely formed when hydrothermal fluids emerged from one or more vents, fusing sediments with silicate and chlorite minerals. Over time, an impervious barrier evolved, enabling increasingly less water to exit the vents. As pressure increased beneath, the cap gradually arched up. It really kind of caught my eye when the waves on the lake started to get really violent. Before we move on to knowing about its impact on the environment, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel if you want to stay updated with more such content. Ecological and environmental impacts. The probable eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano would have catastrophic ecological and environmental consequences. The initial blow would devastate the surrounding area, killing creatures and destroying habitat. The eruption's ash plume could spread throughout North America, causing serious respiratory difficulties for both humans and animals. Crop failure would result in food shortages, while ash might impede transportation and infrastructure. The long-term climate consequences would be similarly severe. The release of enormous volumes of volcanic ash and gases into the sky has the potential to cause a volcanic winter in which global temperatures plummet due to reduced sunshine. This climatic shift might endure for years, resulting in widespread agricultural failures and a cascade of environmental disasters. Given the potential threats, public safety is a top priority. Yellowstone National Park welcomes millions of tourists each year, drawn by its natural beauty and distinctive geothermal elements. In the case of an eruption, these guests would be immediately endangered. Evacuating such a wide area on short notice would be a logistical challenge, with many lives potentially lost. Furthermore, neighboring communities and states would be at risk. Ash fallout and pyroclastic flows might devastate nearby towns, while the economic impact would be felt throughout the country. 
Preparing for such an event necessitates substantial planning and resources, which may be better spent on preventative measures, such as closing the park to the public. As scientists and policymakers grapple with these complex issues, one thing is clear. Yellowstone National Park is a national treasure, and any decision regarding its future must be made with the utmost care and consideration. Let us know with your valuable thoughts on the issue in the comments below. See you next time.